Hello, my beautiful YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much, you all, for the continued support of this channel. All right. We are here today. We are dressed up. We look fly. We smell even flyer, okay? This is about scents that make you smell and feel rich, okay? Everyone loves to smell their best, to look their best, to, I mean, feel like you are in a life of abundance, okay? So when you spray these on, everything I have on this list, you are going to get your entire opulent, lavish life, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this list of 10 scents that make you smell rich. All right, so the first one on this list, you guys, is, oh my God, it's been on my wish list for a while. And I have no idea what took me so long to get this particular fra fragrance because I actually have scents in my collection that cost more than this one. But Kriegler's Abracadabra 221, it is mind-blowingly beautiful, okay? This one, it's got the aldehydes, so you have to like the aldehydes that are in Tom Ford's Metalik. So if you like that, this is gonna be a no brainer for you. But let me tell you, I will have a full kind of a, like a review um, for my Kriegler fragrances coming up. So I'm not gonna get too deep into this one. But this, this lady right here, she does not, she has a staff. She has a house staff, okay? She does not drive herself anywhere. She has a driver. This lady is old money. Handbag closet, okay? It is so feminine. This is so beautiful. It is powdery, it is floral. It is reminiscent of Metalik, but let me tell you, when I say this is probably about 10 times, 100 times better, this one projects. It lasts all day. This is an extra eight, so you're getting, you know, 35%, if I'm not mistaken, oil concentration in your Krieglers. And the best part about these, okay, it is exclusive. Not a soul <laughs> will smell like you when you walk into the room. Not no one, okay? Nobody. No other woman. You can only get Kriegler, I think, from the website directly or at a Four Seasons or Plaza Hotel within about five states, state size. I think they have another shop in Austria, another in Germany, but majority of their, um, their boutiques are in the United States. And I think, like I said, there are only five. So exclusive is the word, okay, in the name of the game, because this is so so beautiful the first time i smelled it i was blown away i mean the aldehydes in here are so addictive they are everything they're not like the ones in chanel i'm not a chanel uh aldehyde lover that's why i don't have any in my collection aside from the fact that they go way too hard on the patchouli <laughs> but this is so so like you have to have this in your collection Try before you buy it, of course. This is a pretty penny. I wouldn't recommend blind buying it. But if you are in a city that has a boutique, please stop by to smell it. I feel like I, like, like I got a billion dollars in the bank when I wear this. You can't tell me shit, okay, when I put this on. My daughter, this is her all-time favorite scent. As soon as it got here, she went and got her little 10 mil empty decant. And she said, I need my decant now. She has been spraying herself down and filling herself, and so have I, okay? Again, Kriegler, Abracadabra 221, everything, okay? Everything and rich, rich vibes all the way. All right, so the next one on this list is Contre Moi, and this is by the House of Louis Vuitton. My first Louis Vuitton purchase, it was a blind buy, very, very different from anything I thought I was going to get, but I still love this scent. 
This is vanilla, but it is very, very different. This is not your everyday typical sweet, you know, sugary. This is an herbal vanilla. This is not one you need to blind buy, but it's not listed in the notes. And I say that every time I talk about this, this has got like this expensive handbag smell to it. It's not giving me like a big leather suede note, but it has to be somewhere in here. This is, I think, um, maybe rose vanilla. Let me, let me try to find some of the notes because this is a very unique, very, very different scent. I have nothing in my collection like this. And I feel like I just, I feel so feminine, so beautiful when I put this on. This is one you can wear to the office. It can also, you know, just be worn as something on a date. This one, very versatile, very versatile scent, but I, like I said, very unique. There's a greenness to it. There is a warm, slightly spicy quality to it, but absolutely gorgeous. So in the top notes, you have herbal notes, lemon and bergamot. The middle notes are magnolia, orange blossom, pear, and rose. Y'all, in the bottom, <laughs> you have base notes of Tahitian vanilla, Madagascar, cacao, and amber. All these notes I listed, I'm not getting any of that. Like, all I'm getting is a very unique herbal vanilla expensive handbag. That is how I describe this. All this magnolia, pear, rose, Okay, expensive handbag. If you want that scent, <laughs> if you want that feeling, okay, this is one to try. Contramont is absolutely exquisite. When you put it on, that is the vibe you're going to give off. I remember I, I sprayed this on the first day I wore it out to work. I thought it had worn off. It was still there. Every, like, we have to understand that we get agnostic to most scents throughout the day because otherwise it would probably drive us crazy. But... I didn't even think the thing was still on me, okay? I got out the car, I walked, and a breeze went past me, and it hit my coworker in the nose, and he was like, damn, is that the is that the new one? <laughs> is that the Louis Vuitton? Because it's hidden, okay? I was like, oh, you can still smell me? <laughs> You're gonna feel like money when you wear this, probably anything from this house, quite frankly. It is very luxurious feeling, and like I said, just a very unique vanilla, and it's so... So happy to have this one in my collection. That is Contra Moi by Louis Vuitton. All right, so the next one is going to be Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. Now, say what you will about Black Orchid, any of the orchids. Say what you want, say what you will. I will never wear Black Orchid, but one thing about the whole orchid line, honey, you can't deny they all smell like money, okay? Whether if you want to wear the scent, if you like the scent, you cannot deny that this is money. This is shmoney in a bottle. When you smell someone wearing velvet orchid, okay, or any of the orchids, I automatically wonder how many C notes we're talking. What what the bank account looking like? Because you smell good. You smell like you're rich. You smell like you got it together. You smell like you are the head of the company. Like. <laughs> That is the vibe that I get with this scent. This is so dark. It is sexy. This to me, it feels very much like Black Orchid, but without that obnoxious patchouli nodes. That I feel like is the biggest turn off um, in Black Orchid. But I also feel like Velvet Orchid is just a little bit more feminine and well blended. It is still got a bunch of notes, but probably about half of the notes of Black Orchid. And I feel like that comes through. This feels so much more intentional. This is so much smoother. This is so, so much more, it's prettier, okay? But it's still a very complex, beautiful scent. If you cannot get with the Black Orchid, try this one out. I feel like I find a lot of people that are not, especially a lot of women that are not with Black Orchid tend to still like the Velvet Orchid. Um, so yeah, definitely try it out, test it out. Beautiful performance, amazing sillage. And I just smell 
like I got like I got some racks on racks when I wear this one, honestly. Gorgeous. Again, Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. All right, you guys. So the next one is going to be Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper by K. Ali. K. Ali Mona. Honey, you say there is no oud in here. I'm gonna need to see the receipts. I will need to, like, she says there's no oud in here, but it smells very oudy. So if you find that you want to oud in your collection, but honestly, like, oud is the most expensive ingredient, I think, to, to add and stuff, other than maybe like saffron, oud, those are very expensive ingredients. So if you want to oud, scent, okay, because this is very oud smelling to me, try this one out. I you automatically smell like oil tycoon Dubai. When you put on anything with oud, that's the vibe you're giving off. So you're automatically going to smell very rich, okay? Luxurious. This is a very luxurious scent for not a lot of coins. Not a lot of coins. This is sweet. It's got some spiciness to it. Very, very woody, okay? There's no oud in here, but... Um, obviously, you know, the way they've done the woods in here, I just breathtaking, breathtakingly beautiful because it is giving you all of the rich, like I said, opulent qualities of a, a sweet oud scent. It is stunning. So I would say, go ahead and get yourself a, the 10 mil because a lot of times you're going to have to blind buy K. Ali fragrances. They're very hard to just test in the States anyway. They're never on display anywhere. So all of mine that I have, have them blind buys. But again, Sephora, if you don't like it, you can always get your money back. And I feel like these 10 mils are just such a way to go because you really get to experience it. Two mils, you can't really experience the scent. Get yourself a 10 mil, test this out. And I think you're going to like it. This is such a beautiful, well-blended, complex, opulent fragrance. Again, that is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper by Kaylee. All right, you guys. So moving on to the vanilla of the bunch, honey. Yes, you know we had to put one on the list. And that is going to be, Spir I'm not sorry, not Spirit to Waste. <laughs> this is going to be Angelique Noir by the House of Guerlain. Okay, listen. Don't be afraid of this green vanilla. For the longest, I was afraid to even put my nose on it. Why? Why? This thing dries down so beautiful, rich, sweet, almost decadent, but a very different take on vanilla. It is very green. I have to, I have to, if you don't like a green note, don't blind buy it because if you don't like green, you don't like green, but I'm finding that I'm actually quite a fan of green. I, for the longest, I didn't think so, but I'm looking at my collection and I got a lot of green going on. So it was a love at first sniff for me. I feel like this fragrance is so well done. You're going to smell like no, like no one's going to smell like you. You smell like you have money. I mean, this is a very rich, formal, beautiful, exquisite vanilla. That is what comes to mind when I wear this. I feel lavish. I feel expensive. I feel beautiful. This is very, you know, date night, um, very sexy type of vanilla. But if you wanted to, you know, wear this to work, to the boardroom, I think it'd be very much appreciated. I think everyone would love the way you smell. You're going to get compliments. Again, for the price point, you want something that smells very different, very divine, niche quality. And that is what you get with Angelique Noir. Probably one of the most unique vanillas that I put my nose on. And it has reputation for being just a very, very different vanilla. You're going to smell so stunning when you wear this. Again, Angelique Noir. Bye, girl, Ann. All right, now let's not play no games because we know that I had to put Baccarat Rouge in this list. There is no way we're talking about rich without this. People are like, this has been hyped up for like 20 years and we're so over it. Listen, we, we need to give this scent all of the roses that it deserves 
as long as it deserves them and it still deserves them. Okay. This is rich. This is sweet. This is very unique. Even though there are many that smell like it now, this is the dunk, like this started it all. Okay. This is what everyone is trying and attempting to do. This is the, this is the king. This is the, if you want to smell like money, just spray this on. Okay. Walk out, let everyone get a whiff of you because the thing projects, it fills a room and it is just so amazing. This is one of my top of the tops. And it will always, you know, just when I want to feel like I got more money than I do, when I want to feel like I got, you know, a whole lot more zeros and commas to my name, this is the one to pull for. This is the one I'm going to be wearing. And I mean, there is nothing else like this scent. I, look at the dent, look at the dent. I'm obsessed with it still been in my collection and the next one will be you know the the big bottle i need a big bottle of this because it is just a stellar performer and it is an addictive very very well done beautifully blended scent and that is baccarat rouge 540 by maison francis cartesian all right so i also feel like we can't do a list of rich filling okay uh vibes without a tiziana terenzi and this is to bit. This is, as you all know, my first niche fragrance. And it was a blind buy. <laughs> this thing is opulence in a bottle. I mean, the damn bottle. Look at it. Just look at the bottle itself. Look at it. This is heavy. This is like a weapon. This You could lift weights with this. It is everything that you want to smell like when you are you know taking that trip to Dubai <laughs> when you are on that date when you are on the yacht you know when you want to give everyone in the room notice you know that there's an air of of, of money coming their way this is what you put on this thing projects like nobody's business it lasts forever in the day <laughs> on your skin and clothes it is just, it, it, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And like, this is what you got to really think about carefully before you put on, because you're going to be stuck with this smell all day. And it's, it's a very specific DNA with Tiziana Terenzi. So it's going to be a scent where either you love it or you just can't do it. But thank God for everyone that, that can do it because it is one that really stands out very unique just this delicious fruity floral with a heavy, you know, musky, warm sand vibe to it. This is summer opulence and like, he's just, it, I can't speak highly enough of it. It is absolutely beautiful and one that I highly recommend you trying out because you are going to just smell so beautiful and like I said, very opulent, like this gold bottle. It's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel like gold. You're going to feel amazing when you put this on. And again, that is To Bit by Tiziana Terenzi. All right, you guys, the next one up on this list is New York Fifth Avenue. And this is from the House of Fragrance Dubois. It's not going to be for everyone, okay? This is a very woody rose. And there is a little bit of sweetness um, from caramel, but it's not going to be like anything heavily sweet, sticky sweet. Gourmandish like the Minwi Demius, nothing like that. This is strictly for those who love a good, like woody, opulent scent because this is so smooth. This is so well blended, and mm, it is gorgeous to me. This is a special occasion type of scent. I love it, but there's not a big dent in it because it's like I want to wear this. When I'm dressed up like this, this outfit, this look is when we pull this out, okay? Now, I don't know where I was going today. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wanted to dress like the part of what the vibe these fragrances give to me. And 
these like look just even it all goes together the smell the look of the bottle the face the you know the dress it all comes together to create a rich experience and new york fifth avenue is so beautiful give it a try test it out because like i said it's not for everybody I wouldn't blind buy it. I tested this before I bought it and I was just absolutely in love because it is a very, like I said, uniquely um, woody scent. It's, it's, it's very smooth, very high quality, okay? Fragrance is, this is, they deal in quality, okay? You're going to get a quality fragrance and to me, it's just a stellar scent. I love it. And again, that is New York Fifth Avenue by Fragrance Dubois. Okay, so next up on the list is the King of Ambers, and that is MFK's Grand Soir. Yes, we have another MFK on the list because I feel like that house just does opulence like no one else. And Grand Soir is a very <sighs> beautiful amber, like um, it's like this sticky sweet type of amber, okay, and vanilla. So this one is, I wouldn't blind buy it. I would definitely test it because it's going to pull masculine on some women. For me, it doesn't. When you first spray it, you sniff the nozzle. Definitely going to be a masculine vibe for me. But when this dries down on my skin, my body chemistry sweetens up drastically. It's already sweet. But it almost turns into like a syrupy sweet on my skin for some reason. And... My daughter loves the way that when I put this on, she's always like, oh my God, you smell so good. It is such a stunning fragrance, warm, cozy, date night. I mean, cuddling up at home, like this is the one you want to have. This is very well put together. Um, you know, you're, you're like, when you smell this, you're going to want to know, well, what do they do for a living? You know, what? Say zip code, what, what is going on? Because you're going to smell like moolah, okay? That, again, is Grand Soir by MFK. And just, like I said, the king, the queen, the everything of ambers, that is what is in this little bottle. I love it. All right, so the last one on this list is just your very understated fruity floral, okay? is is gorgeous though it is a sweet um you know effortless beauty and I feel like Tiffany and Co rose gold is it's an affordable fragrance relatively I think you can get a bottle for a full bottle for about 80 bucks and it, it comes to different sizes but I think the smaller one is 80 dollars this one is a hundred I think like 109 like this it's a beautiful rose black currant scent and it's musky, but when I tell you she is so put together, this is something I feel like it's gonna transcend age. Someone 80 can rock this, someone 20 can rock this, and you're going to feel like just beautiful. You're going to feel beautiful and sophisticated. You're going to feel like, you know, this is, this is a girl that has a couple of Chanel bags <laughs> in the closet, this is, you know, that girl. I love this scent. I feel like um, I need to get my hands on the Tiffany and Co. Uh, Intense because I'm hearing a lot of good things about that one too because I love this one. This one, it's got a nice little dent in it. Um, and it's just such an easy grab. For me, if I just want to feel pretty, I want to feel put together, Tiffany and Co. Rose Gold is what I go for. I don't you know, have to think about what outfit am I wearing? What, it's just an easy grab, just like a monger lawn. Like this is just, you're going to feel very put together, sophisticated, elegant, classy, beautiful. That is what I get when I put this on and I highly recommend you trying this one out. Um, Sephora does not have this one. I think this one, uh, Ulta. And again, with Ulta as well, very good return policy. So you can try this out. Um, and if you don't like it, just return it, get your money back. But usually they have these on display. Um, but some Ulta can be real. They'll have stuff on display, be empty bottles. So 
If that's the case, go ahead, buy one, test it out. If you don't like it, return it. But highly recommend you trying this out because it's effortlessly beautiful. All right, you guys. So that is the video for today. Please be sure to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know that one fragrance that you put on and you just feel like your bank account multiplied, okay? We all have those scents in our collection and we will wanna feel our best. Those are the ones we go for. When we are dressed up and we want to give off a certain, you know, je ne sais quoi, <laughs> those are the ones we pull for. And rich vibes, I'm always in the mood for that type of vibe, all right? So that's it, you guys. That's the video for today. Um, it has been real and I have enjoyed this time with you, but I will have to catch you on the next one.